In Marvel, he is submissive and strikes with a heavy fist in the heavens. Ross doesn't want to travel at all. As someone who owns a car and a house, he hasn't been laid off in 2024. Ross thinks he has been very satisfied throughout his life, but accidents are often so sudden and easy to talk about. It's just about crossing over, you should arrange a safe daily world, it's just about starting over and striving. However, watching Stark Group and its director Tony Stark on TV, Ross knew where he was traveling. The only fortunate thing is that the birthplace is not the troubled New York City, but Florida, far from New York State. As a newcomer who is about to join Stark Group's Florida branch, I occasionally write gossip about my boss and live a comfortable life. But you never know who will come first, whether it's unexpected or tomorrow. Even before leaving the novice village, you will encounter an elite boss. The Demon I'm dying. I'm dying. Ding. Host stop talking, the devil will die for me. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 This person is not right. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. In early spring of March. The temperature in Florida is already hot, and a black Chevrolet speeding past on the seaside road. Ross drove with one hand and turned on the car radio with the other, and the radio said, Tony Stark just. What a damn world. Ross cursed softly and reached out to adjust the radio again. Clack. Jumping to the channel, a burst of dynamic music came from the radio station. It has been almost half a month since crossing over, and Ross still feels worried and confused about the future. Ross traveled to a Chinese-American with the same name and surname in the United States, with an apartment left by his parents and this black Chevrolet. Just graduated from college, he has surpassed most young people. This was originally a good start, but when he heard Tony Stark from the news, a sense of ominous anticipation emerged in his heart, hoping that it was just a name. However, after seeing Tony Stark's appearance resembling Robert Downey Jr. on TV, there is no doubt that this is Marvel's world. Fortunately, the birthplace is Florida, far from New York, where major events frequently occur, otherwise hell would have started. I have been here for almost half a month now, barely adapting to the environment here. Ross found that as long as there were no major events or presidential elections that shocked the whole country, the radio would broadcast Stark's affairs or Tony Stark's gossip news. Stark is like a wealth code in the news industry, as long as the broadcast ratings are not low. Ross sighed that Stark not only provided a considerable number of job opportunities for America, paying huge taxes every year, but also supported a large number of journalists. Of course, among them is Ross himself, who has made a fortune in the past half month by writing Stark side news. Compared to the news professionals who can easily earn money here, Toby Spider next door is almost crying and fainting in the restroom. Ding 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 the phone screen shows a call from a person named James, who is a friend of the original owner. In this country full of discrimination, the original owner, an Asian, is the most vulnerable to bullying. However, the original owner was able to finish college safely thanks to James. James and the original owner used to be neighbors, but later he didn't study and became a thug here. The original owner was taken care of by him, and hardly anyone dared to bully him. Hello. James, I'm about to arrive. You know, how congested the city roads are at this point. Today is a party hosted by James and Ross for their successful graduation. I plan to experience what an adult party is like with Ross as a little vegetable. Ross learned about parties in Europe and America from woodpeckers, addicts, and so on, which is very exciting to think about. Hee hee, hee hee Omega, upon arriving at the destination, Ross could hear dynamic music from a long distance. After getting off the car, Ross saw James waiting for him at the door. Ross, you're coming so slowly. Come with me quickly. James hugged his shoulder and the two walked towards the bar. Ross. Omega, after Ross entered, 
two cool dressed beauties sealed his hands in a soft place. Hee hee, hee hee the night fell. James, who was trying to hide, approached Ross and pointed to a white man in the corner, saying. Ross, was that person over there invited by you? A private party, without an invitation letter, the security guard outside will not let in. James confirmed that this person was not invited by himself. Following James's fingers, there was a person wearing a grey windbreaker, pale in complexion, with wet hair. No, I don't know. Ross confirmed repeatedly that it was not someone he knew. Upon hearing Ross say he didn't know him, James angrily said. TMD, I don't know where the scum got in, I want to kill him. Although that person is a bit messy, he shouldn't be so angry, Ross asked curiously. What's wrong, James? If you just sneak in, just let the security guard drive it away. It's okay without asking, but James became even angrier when asked. SHIT, that bastard has been staring at my buttocks. Although I don't discriminate against homosexuals, I don't accept it either. Ross finally understood why James was so angry. The straight man was being stared at by the same sex, and he couldn't bear it. Ross has been with James, and seeing him so angry, he is worried that he will get shot. After all, this is a nuclear war in America, and suddenly pulling out a gun to shoot is too normal. It is best to notify the security guard directly and ask them to invite the person out. Hi, what are you looking at with your eyes? Do you want to die? BB. BB. James came forward with a burst of rap output, and Ross was momentarily stunned. At this moment, he saw the man's hand reaching towards his waist, and Ross felt his scalp tingling. Various scenes of pulling out guns flashed through his mind. In order to prevent the situation from worsening further, Ross reached out and held down the other person, trying to prevent them from pulling out their gun. However, when Ross's hand landed on the other person's shoulder, he felt that he was not pressing on the person, but touching a piece of eternal ice. Something's wrong. This person is not right. Ding, get in touch with the plot character Water Demon and win a lottery once. Ching Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2 Friends, do you want to make money? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ross immediately withdrew his hand, and the other party could never pull out a gun. If the other party wanted to kill them, they didn't need to use a gun at all. Ross remained calm and hugged James with one hand, smiling as he spoke. Friend, this is a private party. Judging from your friend's appearance, it seems like something has happened. If you go out and rely on your friends, you can eat and drink here casually, and everything will pass. After speaking, he hugged James and forcibly dragged him away. Ross, what are you doing? How can I get around here like this? James was very dissatisfied with Ross's behavior, which made him feel embarrassed. Is face important to life? Ross only wants to leave this place now, so he has to lie. James, I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. Help me to the bathroom. James had a puzzled expression on his face. When Ross pulled him a moment ago, he exerted a lot of force, but when he saw that Ross's face was indeed not good. Looking, he gave up seeking trouble with the water demon and emphasized the importance of his own brother. The water demon looked at the two people walking away, with a sinister smile curling up at the corner of his mouth. In the bathroom, Ross sat on the toilet, lit a cigarette and took a deep breath, trying to ease his bouncing heart. I thought being far away from New York would prevent me from getting involved in the incident, but it seems too naive. However, opening it shouldn't be a hallucination, so, open the system. As the words fell, a light curtain appeared in front of Ross. Host. Ross, attribute. Force. Four, body. Four, intelligence. Five, skill. None, equipment. None, lottery. One, apart from the above, 
Ross did not find anything else, including the system mall or taskbar. The system seems to be very cold, and no matter what Ross asks, he doesn't get an answer. I saw a lottery on the panel once, and after thinking about it, I think there should be a reaction. System, I want a lottery. Then the data disappeared from the light screen in front of Ross, and a card appeared. Skill card. Sixth sense, one of the must that have skills for cute new players, you are really good, Ross. Dot. Oh Ged, divine skills are divine skills, but can this thing deal with external water demons? However, the system remained cold, and Ross had no choice but to equip this skill card, hoping that Sixth Sense could find an escape route for him. Ding, the first world mission of the host is activated, teleportation is activated. What the fuck the darkness subsided, and Ross opened his eyes to find that he was no longer in the bathroom, waiting for him to see the surroundings clearly. Ding, the host arrived at the Egyptian museum and won a lottery once. Glancing at the mummy displayed, it is the Egyptian museum. System, how should I go back? Ross asked the most crucial question. The host can return after completing the world task, what is the world mission? After waiting for five or six minutes, I didn't receive a response from the system, and it started to cool down again. Since it's a task, it definitely needs to be triggered. Sitting here is not a solution. Ross got up and planned to go out for a walk, maybe he'll encounter the NPC who sent the task. At the entrance of the museum, Ross saw four white people gathered around a bearded man wearing an Islamic-style hat. These people blocked the door, so Ross had to go to the side and eat melons first. Ross roughly knows the story from the conversation between the few people. These people from the United States came to Egypt with the purpose of searching for the tomb of Pharaoh Ramses I, but they were unfamiliar with Egypt and hoped to find a familiar guide to take them into the desert. Egypt is covered in yellow sand except for the banks of the Nile River, and even the locals do not know what lies beneath the yellow sand. The blueprints given by these Americans are quite familiar with the big beard. However, the current situation is that a group of people have been wandering in the desert for three days, not to mention graves, they have not seen a single mound. At this point, they thought Big Beard was not enough and wanted to replace him. However, the price offered by the other party was too good, and Big Beard was cursing. This time, there must be no mistake. But as someone wearing Islamic clothing, you swear to God without any convincing power. Look, this is the Feng Shui master I specially invited from China. Beard pointed to Ross, who was eating melons. Ross. Who are you? Are we familiar with each other? When Big Beard took advantage of their attention to look at Ross, he broke free from the encirclement of a few people and walked to Ross's side. He wrapped his hand around Ross's shoulder and showed that we knew each other very well. Ding, the host encounters the plot character, Sarah, and wins a lottery once. Is this person actually a plot character? Ross didn't break his beard and waited for him to speak. Perhaps this was his way to insert the plot and obtain world missions. Sarah hugged Ross and turned her body back, whispering. Friend, do you want to make money? This number. Sarah extended five fingers. Hiss, five million. Are you thinking about farting? Five thousand dollars, why not do it? Done. Of course I did it, even if I didn't give it, I had to do it. After all, this is just inserting the plot, I just don't know what kind of world it is. But when they were eating melons just now, they were talking about what the pharaohs were saying, probably because they were robbing graves and digging treasures. If they look at it this way, is it a mummy? Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3. What are you talking about? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Ross recalls the plot Do you remember that in the plot, there is only one person who looks more like the warden with a big beard, but judging from his current appearance, he doesn't seem to be in power or influence. At this moment, 
bearded Sarah extended her left hand and said, Friend, my name is Sarah. Ross also reached out his left hand to reach an agreement with Salada. Then, just pretend you don't understand what we're saying and look at me in the eyes. Okay. She patted her chest and asked Sarah to put her heart in her stomach. It was a simple matter. Okay, wait here while I prepare the equipment. After speaking, Sarah walked towards the group of Europeans and Americans, briefly explained the situation to those people, and then left. The white people only glanced at Ross while Sarah was speaking, and no one came to ask him. It was probably because Sarah said she didn't understand. I found a place to sit down everywhere and took a look with my hands. System Lottery Character Card Black Tiger Afu, today I'll teach you how to talk about horses. And talk trash. Character Card Who buy, fat guy, there must be a big tomb here. Two character cards, the system did not explain, everything needs to be explored by oneself, probably requiring equipment to use just like skill cards. The solitary smoke in the desert rises straight, and the long river sets with the sun. After leaving the city of Cairo, Ross deeply understood the artistic conception in Wang Wei's poetry. At first, Ross was shocked by the vast desert, and then he became very bored. The scenery along the way was the same, and after watching it for a long time, he didn't feel much. And in this scorching desert, Ross only felt restless and kept watering himself. Sarah, the leader in front, suddenly stopped and saw him looking around on the camel. He then took out a map and got off the camel. Holding the map in his hand, he shouted loudly, that's it. Everyone got off their camels and surrounded them. Sarah placed the map on the sand and took out a compass from her body. If Ross had read it correctly, it was indeed a feng shui compass, not from where he got it. Sarah looked up at Ross. Ross. Dot. You should take off your sunglasses before making your eyes sparkle. If I hadn't agreed with you in advance, I wouldn't have known which one you were playing. Walking up to Sarah, I wanted to remind him to take off his sunglasses, but I heard it. At hashtag asterisk percent Yuan, Ross what the hell are you talking about? Don't tell me that you are speaking Chinese. Seeing Ross not speaking, Sarah spoke again. At hashtag asterisk percent Yuan, at the same time, raise the compass in your hand and signal to Ross. Ross really wanted to cover his face with his hands, but he wanted to avoid revealing anything at this moment. He nodded expressionlessly and let out a sound from his throat. Hmm. Sarah was like turning on some strange switch. At hashtag UN percent. Asterisk asterisk dot percent UN hashtag at. After chattering loudly towards the compass, Ross secretly looked at the four white people beside him. They looked serious and nodded slightly in agreement with Sarah's words. Ross. Dot. The protagonist and the group performance are both serious, only oneself is slacking off. Suddenly Sarah stopped and pointed to the compass, saying, the tomb is in this position. Are you sure you're not pointing randomly? Ross finds it hard to believe Sarah, after all, this person is too outrageous. But the Yanks didn't say much. They picked up the shovel and followed Sarah. At this moment, Ross only hopes that the other person will not be someone who pulls a gun at a word of disagreement. The desert has a huge temperature difference between day and night, and when night fell, everyone had already set up a campfire. Professor, I've been digging for so long and haven't found anything yet. Is this person really okay? The white young man with freckles on his face asked the middle-aged man beside him. Ross sat next to them, but they didn't shy away from him, probably believing that he didn't understand English. Looking again, the main thing is that no one else dares to take us here. The teacher took a sip of water and replied. Professor. It seems like they are still scholars, so they shouldn't just take out their guns if they don't agree. Bang. A gunshot shattered the tranquility of the night. Following the sound, Ross saw another white young man raise his gun towards the sky. Fuck. 
The gun in his hand pointed toward Sarah, and he asked loudly. Is there a tomb here? I dug a sand pit for three days and couldn't find anything. Indeed, being fooled into digging sand for three days is driving everyone crazy, and Ross couldn't help but nod in agreement. The middle-aged man beside him saw Ross nodding his head and seemed to think of something. He quietly walked up behind Ross and whispered softly. You also think he's unreliable? Yeah. As soon as he said it, Ross knew it was over and a cold sweat oozed from his forehead. Sir, do you understand what we're saying? Middle-aged people have a cold tone, after all, being deceived by others makes everyone angry. The strong white man heard the professor's words and took out a pistol from his body, pointing it at Ross and gesturing for him to walk to Sarah's side. Sarah, who was pointed at by a gun, tried to calm the other person's emotions and said softly. Friend. Bang. The strong man shot Sarah at the foot, instantly making him shut up. Lying trough. No way, the first task is about to fail. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 4. You didn't believe a single word. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Ross's mind turned rapidly, the system remained silent and could only rely on himself. I hope Sarah is not the cannon fodder for receiving boxed meals at the opening. System, using character cards. Host equipment character card, who buy, does it cover the skin? What does covering the skin mean? Host equips a character card, and the appearance and body shape are assimilated to the character's appearance until the card effect disappears. Ross didn't even think about refusing to cover his skin, and now using it is equivalent to a big transformation in front of them. Ding, the host equipment character card, who by, has a lifespan of 600 seconds, and the timer is now starting. At the moment when the equipment was on the card, countless images appeared in Ross's mind, including those of going to the grave, those of searching for dragons and acupoints, and all of who buys abilities came to mind. And Ross didn't feel any difference, it felt like he had already experienced it. Bad comment, this character is bad. He doesn't have a bad comment with Snow Pear Yang Hee Hee. After roast, Ross did not delay any more. The time of the character card was limited, and he was pointed at with a gun, so he could attack the street at any time. Ross spoke up. A few people, why don't you let me give it a try? Since we've all come here, why don't you let me take a look? You. The middle-aged man frowned, pondered, and nodded at the strong man. He had no intention of killing anyone, but what if he saw a ghost? Ross walked up to the nearby sand dune, looked around, and saw the vast and boundless desert before him. There were no mountains or water, and no feng shui direction could be seen. Ross frowned, don't foreign tombs look at feng shui? Or is it that the thousand-year-old yellow sand has buried everything? The 16-character Yin.Yang Feng Shui secret script is not only about mountain and river feng shui, but also about celestial astrology. Ross looked up at the starry sky, where the Milky Way was clearly visible. Previously, when Ross saw this starry sky, he would only say, look good. Now when he sees such a starry sky, he would say, the sleeping trough is really beautiful. Cough. With the blessing of the 16-character Yin Yang Feng Shui secret script, Ross discovered an unusual location in this dense starry sky. After a moment of careful observation, Ross showed a confident smile on his face, it was time for you to feel the secrets of China. Ross confidently said, there is indeed an imperial tomb here. The middle-aged man didn't speak, and the young man beside him spoke in disbelief. He he, then you can find out and take a look then. Ross grinned, knowing that these people would not easily believe him, Ross explained without hesitation. For thousands of years, everything here has been buried in the yellow sand, even if the builders of that time came here, they couldn't find it. However, there is one thing that has not changed even after thousands of years. 
Ross raised his hand and pointed to the sky, that's this starry sky. Seeing everyone being attracted, Ross continued. You follow my fingers to look. What do you want us to see? The young man looked puzzled as there were many stars in the sky, making him feel a bit dizzy. The others also looked bewildered. This star emits a purple glow, Ross reminded again. This time everyone finally saw this star. I saw it, but what's going on? This star is called Purple Vibrio Star, in China. Purple Vibrio Star represents the meaning of an emperor. Don't you think that this starry sky is all guarding this star? Isn't it like an emperor accepting the worship of his courtiers? Ross explained to everyone. Compared to Sarah's unfounded claims, Ross is more convincing. The middle-aged man walked up to Ross and asked. Since the master is certain that there is a tomb here, why haven't we found anything after digging for so long? After seeing Ross nod, he continued. Without a direct answer, Ross shouted at Sarah instead. Sarah, take out your compass. Ah. Oh, oh. Sarah, who was called by her name, was stunned for a moment before realizing it and quickly handed out the compass. Searching for the dragon and dividing the gold to see the winding mountain, one heavy winding is one heavy barrier. If there is an eight-point danger in closing the door, there will be no yin and yang hexagrams. Dot. Ross held a compass and recited the dragon hunting and gold sorting technique, constantly turning the compass to find the entrance to the tomb. That's it. Ross confirmed that the entrance to the tomb was here, as he watched the compass pointer stop. The other three Americans didn't take any action and looked at the middle dot aged man before them. The middle. Aged man nodded directly, indicating that they were digging. Ross stood on the side and carefully experienced the experience brought by the character card. I don't know if the time will pass soon, but will these disappear? Taking advantage of the time, I will try to write down the 16 character Yin Yang Feng Shui secret technique. Sarah sneaked up to Ross and whispered in his ear. Friend, I didn't expect you to be so eloquent. Now they are digging, let's sneak away. Ross. Dot. After talking to me for a while, you didn't believe a word. Ignoring him, Ross gave him a back of the head. However, Sarah still didn't give up, after all, Ross brought him himself, so we still need to safely take him back. Friend, if you don't leave now, then. Before we could finish speaking, there was a collision sound coming from the excavation site. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. Why is it inconsistent with what professionals say? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ding dang. It was the sound of a shovel colliding with a hard object, and the digging crowd stopped and looked at each other with a smile in their eyes. The young man who fired before shouted loudly. Professor, I've dug it. Sarah, who was supposed to run away, rushed towards the excavation site and used her hands to sweep away the yellow sand on the surface layer. A stone slab appeared in front of him. Sarah has also laid many tombs in Egypt, and he can tell at a glance that this stone slab is from a tomb. Looking up at Ross with a ghostly expression, I didn't expect anyone I could pull to have this ability. On second thought, if I hadn't brought Ross along myself, these people wouldn't have been found. It's truly me. Ha ha ha, I said I would take you to find it. Look, this is not finding it. The freckle youth roast, if it weren't for this gentleman, you would only bring us here to eat sand for one day. Sarah doesn't care about his roast. After all, he brought Ross. If Ross finds it, he will find it. The middle dot aged man from before walked over and smiled, extending his left hand and saying. Hello Mr. Ross, I'm John, an archaeology professor from New York University in the United States. This is my student and assistant Hank. John pointed to the freckled youth beside him. Then point to the young man who started pulling out his gun, this is my student Joe. 
This strong man is my bodyguard Carter. John introduced them to Ross one by one, you should know that these people used to look at him through their nostrils before. So John's thoughts were visible to Ross. He wanted to make good friends with himself after seeing his abilities, but he didn't know that his abilities would open up character cards in the system and disappear in a while. However, since the other person offered to show goodwill, Ross did not refuse and started talking to John on the side. Teacher, it's open. Joe moved the slate aside and shouted to John's side. Mr. Ross, let's go take a look together. John extended his hand and invited Ross to go together. Arriving at the entrance of the passage, Ross felt a gust of wind blowing out of the tomb. Apart from being a bit cold, Ross did not smell the dampness or decay. Based on the experience of the character card, when the tomb is first opened, there is usually a damp and decaying atmosphere, which may be due to the long dot term dry desert. Moreover, the presence of wind indicates good ventilation in the tomb chamber. After confirming that there are no issues with the tomb chamber, let's go in and take a look too. Sarah gently pushed Ross behind her, but without waiting for him, she went in on her own. Ross. Dot. How cunning are you? You were only threatened with a gun by them before, and you're not afraid of being used as cannon fodder. Mr. Ross, why don't we go down together? John spoke in a gentle tone, as if inviting Ross with good intentions, but Ross felt that he was full of malice. At the same time, I roast about the system. The sixth sense of the previous skill didn't prompt me at this time. What should I do if I encounter a mechanism trap at the grave? With a smile on his face that was even uglier than crying, he said. Good after speaking, walk down the tomb. John looked at Hank beside him and asked, feeling a bit confused. Hank, am I looking terrible now? No, the professor has always been kind and approachable, loved by everyone. Clattering. 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 Hank took the opportunity to flatter a long string, which is why he can become an assistant. At this point, the character card has become invalid, and the memories brought by the character card are slowly dissipating in the brain. Ding, host gains skill. 16 character in Yang Feng Shui secret technique, feels like a tomb when looking at anything, eh. There are also skills and abilities, so looking at character cards like this is not a scam at all, but rather a better value for money. Ross thought to himself that the system was too high and too cold to explain anything, so he had to rely on his own exploration, but now there are too few clues. After entering the tomb, Ross cautiously followed behind everyone. The experience brought by Hubai's character card made him know not to underestimate any tomb, otherwise he wouldn't know how to die. Mr. Ross, what are you doing? John, who came down from behind, looked ahead and probed three times. There are many mechanisms in the tomb, what should I do if I accidentally fall into a trap? Although it was the cannon fodder that was driven down, Ross still wanted to be cautious. Huh, Ross didn't expect to worry about this. Sarah in front burst into laughter upon hearing this, and then walked over to Ross to explain to him. The pharaohs of Egypt cursed their tombs to prevent tomb raiders from falling into hell or disturbing the pharaoh's slumbers, but they never set up any traps in their tombs. They believe that they will be resurrected after death, and it is impossible for them to create a mechanism to defend themselves. Sarah shrugged and said there were no mechanisms here, so feel free to leave boldly. Ross suddenly realized that no wonder so many antiques from pre-Egyptian times had emerged. It turns out that there are no traps in the tomb, as long as they are found, they can be easily developed. The group walked along the corridor to the main tomb chamber. Ding, the host arrives at the tomb of Pharaoh Amtu and wins a lottery once. Amtu. Isn't it Ramses I? Why is it inconsistent with what professionals say? New books for collection, for flowers. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6. 
Returning TM Experience Funds You are listening at NovelFull.audio However, this name flashed through Ross's mind, and his attention was focused on triggering the lottery. This was a new way of triggering the lottery. Is this an important scene? In the main tomb chamber, John and others are taking photos of the text on the wall with a camera. Professor, it's a bit strange, Hank said to John who was observing the coffin. What's wrong? Professor, although this tomb was built according to the pharaoh's specifications, there are no accompanying burial objects. Ramses I was this pharaoh who reigned for a long time. John and the others discussed on the spot, and what Ross didn't expect was that Sarah, with her thick eyebrows and big eyes that looked like a silly mustache, could have a simple and straightforward discussion with John. For a moment, only he and his bodyguard Carter did not enter the discussion group and glanced at Carter, who was surrounded by well-developed limbs. Can it be? Bah, I wake up alone when everyone is drunk, disdaining to participate. But Ross, who was listening on the side, couldn't help but be stunned. These people's minds are really big, even he, a 21st century person from the information explosion, feels inferior. What conspiracy theories, moral theories, and so on, if the big shot listens to them, they may be able to write a million-word masterpiece. Is it possible that it's not him? But other pharaohs, such as Amtu. Ross interjected on the side. The discussion came to a sudden halt. Dot. Times and they assumed various possibilities, but ignored the most likely ones to be the truth. In the end, Professor John, who had excellent psychological qualities, broke the calm and said. Mr. Ross is very reasonable. The writing on the wall should have records. He turned to Hank and said, Hank, bring us our ancient Egyptian script notebook. A few people, in order to ease their awkwardness, surrounded Hank's notebook and began translating the text on the wall. Ross pouted and was about to show a disdainful expression when he saw Carter also pouting with disdain in his eyes. Ross. Dot. Forget it, let's draw the lottery ourselves. System lottery. Item card. Black Wizard, although it is a first-generation card, without effects, he can no longer keep up with the times, Ross what about this TM game king? Okay, maybe I've run out of European gas. After closing the system panel, Ross looked at John and the others, only to see them looking at him in shock. Oh, Omega O. Oh. Ross, how do you know that the pharaoh here is Amtu? Sarah's tone was full of shock. They compared multiple times here before recognizing the text representing Pharaoh Amtu. Of course, it is said by the system. However, this cannot be said, so it was a serious nonsense. I happen to know the words Amtu, dot. Everyone looked at him with resentment, knowing why he hadn't said it earlier, and still watched them talk for a while. Three months later. Ross is enjoying breakfast in a residential area in the city of Cairo. Next to it is a newspaper, and the picture in the middle of the newspaper is a group photo of Ross and John excavating Pharaoh Amtu. Three months ago, it was discovered that this pharaoh, who had not been recorded in history, was of great interest to John and others. However, in order to prevent this from being published earlier, after completing the recording, John and others packed Amtu's mummy and flew back to the United States. After seeing Ross refusing to go to America with John, Sarah believed that it was Ross who couldn't bear to part with her and insisted on Ross forming a team. And generously submit his words. Ross, as long as you and I work together, there is no undiscovered treasure in Egypt. Ross. Dot. If it weren't for you being the only character in the plot, he would have gone to America with John long ago, who is still eating sand here. Whether or not to say, Sarah looks silly with thick eyebrows and big eyes, but she is really good at learning history. Over the course of three months, he identified the approximate locations of dozens of tombs, big and small, from various historical documents. After getting a rough idea of the location, the rest became simple. When he arrived, Ross took out the compass and turned it around, basically digging one accurately. 
While the two of them gained wealth, Ross also won a lottery. System, open the property panel. Host. Ross, attribute. Force. 7. Body. 7. Intelligence. 8. Skill. 6th Sense, 16 Character Yin Yang Feng Shui Secret Technique, Equipment. Character Card. Black Tiger Afu, today I'll teach you how to talk about horses. And talk trash. Item Card. Black Wizard, although it is a first generation card, without effects, he can no longer keep up with the times, item card. Reader Experience Edition, where you won't click there, character card. Sloan, my destiny is determined by me, not by the weaving machine, lottery. None, triggered a total of 10 times in 3 months, and extracted attribute points 8 times. There are 2 character cards left, which I didn't originally know. After reading the introduction, I can roughly guess which world they belong to. As for the item card, it's a bit of a pit, not only useless, but also a TM experience model. But the attributes have been clarified. Firstly, force represents the unity of speed, strength, and other factors. Body represents constitution, resistance, five senses, and so on. Intelligence, this is not intelligence, but spiritual power, coordination, blue bars, and so on. And when an attribute exceeds the other two points, it is impossible to add points to that attribute, so it cannot specialize in one item like in games. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. I'm not a human being anymore. You are listening at novelfull.audio. I have understood the system functions, but the task world is still unclear. At present, Ross has not yet figured out what kind of world it is. Previously, he suspected it was a world of mummies, but he asked Sarah about the city of Hamnada, which he had never heard of. Is it really the world of game kings? After all, if you draw a card yourself, it's just that the first installment of Game King is still in the 1990s. I am currently on a timeline where World War II has not yet begun. By then, I will be almost buried. Besides, what can the Game King do to deal with demons? I would never shout a duel when facing the water demon on my own, but the opponent was judged to have failed due to lack of deck, and then played the street. In short, there are only as many starting lucky draws as possible now. In case of a personality explosion and winning a Sun God experience card, go back and install a force, and then take advantage of the time to transform and transform yourself. Not only can you become a god directly, but you can also become a semi-god. Put down the newspaper and prepare to go out to find Sarah to see if there are any major graves recently. It's been a long time since we took any risks. Ross tidied up briefly and walked towards the door, ready to open it. A chill struck, as if opening the door would cause something bad to happen. This feeling has been felt countless times during those three months, which is a reminder of the sixth sense of skill. I used to think that this thing out of the system was useless, until one time I felt it while dealing with gold, silver, and jewelry with Sarah. At that time, the two of them first dug up a prized treasure in a tomb, but unfortunately forgot to be careful when facing a huge treasure. After dealing with a batch, I and Sarah were being tracked, and the tracking was not a big deal. However, the other party wanted to kill and loot, and secretly aimed a gun at me from behind. But I felt a chill attacking me, and there seemed to be a voice in my heart telling me to lie down. At that time, I didn't have time to think much, so I just lay down and a bullet flew past my scalp. Since then, Ross has been very confident in his sixth sense. Now it's the same situation again, and if he hesitates a bit, it's just that he's sorry for the system. When I rented this house, I also rented the neighboring house and connected two houses, considering that I am now somewhat famous and worried about being blocked. Now I'm really grateful that I didn't listen to Sarah's words. I just wasted some more money, at least to save my life. 
putting on an Arab robe, the other room happened to be in a market, and Ross quickly mixed into the crowd. As for going back and seeing who is blocking you, it's impossible, only fools will go and see. After coming out, Ross went to Sarah's house on his own. In front of the Rose house, three white men in suits and shoes were knocking on the door, while the other two were holding a pistol and standing on either side of the door. From the temperament emanating from the three individuals, it can be seen that they are likely from a military background. They knocked on the door several times, but didn't wait until it opened. Before that, they could confirm that the people in the house had not left. The three of them seemed to have something in their minds. The person knocking on the door stood back, and the person on the left raised a gun and fired at the door lock. Then the three of them rushed in, seeing the cleaned house and a doorway leading to the neighboring house in the innermost room. After the three of them came out of the door of the neighboring house, it was a bustling market that was impossible to track. Outside Cairo, in a German military camp. In the tent, two officers and a man in a white suit. What? Didn't find it. Colonel Wayne, you said you would definitely invite him before. The tone of the white suit was a bit annoyed. Colonel Wayne, not in his tone, asked instead. Bellock, you are a world-renowned archaeologist. Why do you have to find that Asian guy? You can watch for yourself. Bellock handed him a newspaper, which was the same as the one at Ross's table today. Although we have the pattern of the sun metal now, we have not been able to find the soul well so far. Perhaps this person can help us find it. Bellock lit a cigarette, and he regretted handing it over to these Germans. He didn't know how to use any other method besides using Chang. Wayne only realized after reading the newspaper how important it was for Bellock to find the person he was looking for. If he had really lived up to what the newspaper said, they would now be receiving the F. U. Hrares medal. I will make people pay attention to this person in the city. Now we can only think about how to remedy it. What about the excavation? Although someone will be sent to look for it, it cannot be stopped on this construction site now. I'll think of another way. Bellock waved his hand without looking back, gesturing for them to go out, wanting to be quiet. After seven rounds and eight rounds, Ross confirmed that no one was following him and flipped into Sarah's house from the backyard. At this moment, there was no one at Sarah's house, so I guess she might have gone somewhere else to eat or drink. Skillfully open his wine cabinet. Eh, it seems that this bottle of red wine was sold at a high price at the auction before. I remember that when I came out, I still complained to Sarah about that idiot buying this stuff. I didn't expect that person to be my own acquaintance. Pooh, Sarah is really not a friend. Even if you buy good wine, you don't invite yourself to taste it. Since you are not kind, don't blame me for being unjust. Sarah, I won't be a human anymore. Qing Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Understanding a ghost on your own. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Not long after, Sarah carried a bag of snacks and hummed a tune as she pushed the door in. Today I received a telegram from the United States, with an old friend coming. This old friend must have discovered some treasure. Let Ross come over tonight and tell him the good news. Now I need to enjoy it myself and plan to take out the fine wine from the previous auction. Humph, Ross, that guy dares to mock him. He was planning to share it with him, but this time he won't leave a drop. Dot. Where is my wine? Sarah, you're back now. Who? The sudden sound startled him and he jumped up and turned around. Huh, it's Ross, you scared me. I was patting my chest to calm myself down when I saw the wine bottle on the table next to Ross looking familiar. Sarah's face suddenly turned fierce and she shouted loudly. Ross. I'm fighting with you. After a flurry of flying chickens and dogs in the room. Hiss, it hurts. You hit so hard. 
Sarah applied an ice pack to the swollen area of her body while looking at Ross with a resentful expression. Ross was also somewhat speechless. He, who was originally slightly drunk, saw a fat man with a fierce face rushing towards him, and then Sarah lay on the ground. Sarah couldn't figure out why it would be herself who got injured in the end, even though Ross didn't look strong. Is it because I haven't been controlling myself lately? Ross, why did you come over today? Sarah is very surprised why Ross came so early today. Usually, he only comes by stepping on the food order. It's like this. Ross briefly recounted what happened this morning. Sarah frowned and asked in a low voice, Who is it? Have you seen it clearly? No, I ran away directly, it should be an outsider. Ross took the conversation and said that most local forces in Cairo have had face dot to dot face contact with Ross and his team, and they won't find him through this method. Speaking of outsiders, Sarah seemed to think of something, it's only the Germans outside the city. Are Germans? Ross rubbed his chin. Recently, Germans have hired many absenteeism workers to dig and dig outside the city. Is there any treasure somewhere? Do you want to sneak a look? There was nothing to say overnight the next morning, Sarah mysteriously went out. Afterwards, Ross also secretly went to the German army camp outside the city, donning a white robe with Arab characteristics and relying on a few lines of Arabic taught by Sulla. Ross has freedom of entry and exit in the heavily guarded German camp. It shouldn't be. The German army was indeed digging for something, but Ross wandered around and found that this was just an ordinary city ruins. There were too many such ruins in Egypt. It can't be someone else's German army who came from thousands of miles to help the Egyptian people restore history. Ross, who had gained nothing, had to go back first. The door was pushed open, and three people sat at the dining table. I'll just say it, he will definitely step on the food and come back. Sarah stood up and smiled at the man beside her, saying. The man has a resolute face, distinct facial features, and a mournful beard carrying a sense of the vicissitudes of time. Next to him sat a woman, but her delicate face was covered in freckles, satisfying the aesthetic preferences of Europeans and Americans in this era. Ross, come on, let me introduce you. Sarah greeted Ross, and the man next to Sarah stood up and extended his left hand, smiling and saying. Hello Ross, I've heard of you from John since I was in America. My name is Indiana Jones. Ding, the host encounters the plot character Indiana Jones and wins a lottery once. There is no prompt from the opportunity system. Ross felt speechless in his heart as he forgot about this movie, which was the pioneer of adventure films that influenced generations of people in the later stage. Thoughts flew through Ross's heart, and he didn't show any expression on his face as he smiled and said. I know you, Dr. Jones, a renowned archaeologist. John and Sarah have both told me about astrology, I wonder if I can see it. Besides his congressional mission, Jones wants to see Ross's astrology the most this time, and he wants to communicate and exchange more about it. I saw a glimmer of sympathy and pity in Ross's eyes. I just met him today, why did I show such a look? Jones couldn't help but ask. Why did you show sympathy and pity towards me just now? Ross's face froze for a moment, completely unaware that his unintentional expression would be seen by Jones. Rubbing his nose and giving a dry smile, he said, No, no, you're mistaken. No, I didn't misread. Jones believed he wouldn't misread and continued, I've heard of using some divination techniques in China. And he had a premonition in his heart that Ross might actually have divined something, himself. Dad. Or Jones couldn't help but look at the woman beside him, Marianne. I know a ghost's divination, but I have only watched your movies and know that your later years may be a bit miserable, but who made you too scumbag when you were young? Hello, my name is Marianne. I don't know what you're doing with divination. A girl inserted, with a hint of concern in her tone. She didn't know if Ross understood divination, but she trusted Jones's judgment. Hello, Marianne. 
Ding, the host encounters the plot character Marianne and wins a lottery once. Ross, you never told me you could do divination. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9. It seems that there is also a way out. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Sarah's voice interjected again, her eyes filled with resentment as she looked at Ross. It was clear that she was the first to know why she only found out now. Ross couldn't bear being looked at by a man like this, so he had to say. Your future is smooth sailing, with plenty of children and grandchildren. After retirement, you will retire in America. You shouldn't be making it up, how could I possibly go to America? How do I know? The director didn't write it again. Ross rolled his eyes and ignored Sarah. Jones and Marianne were looking at themselves, while Ross lowered his head and organized his language. Indeed, I can see some of your future from Jones' face. I suggest that you don't let your son join the army in the future. If there is anything, communicate with him well. By the way, don't be too scumbag, it's not good for your child. A gentle reminder to Jones, as for what to do next. Jones nodded thoughtfully, Ross's meaning clear to him, but. Ross, what is too scumbag? You just don't have to see a woman who can't move her legs. Jones. Dot. Do you have that color? Humph. Ah. Marion stomped hard on Jones's instep with her heel. Sarah quickly changed the topic and said. I have prepared a sumptuous dinner, please wait a moment. After finishing speaking, he quickly ran to the kitchen. I'll go to the restroom. Ross didn't want to eat dog food either, so he got up and went to the restroom. Ross plans to stay in the restroom for a while, so it's better to take a sip. System Lottery Character Card Indiana Jones, they all say it's archaeology, not tomb raiding, skill card. A thousand cups not drunk, drinking, raising fish. Looking at these two Carlos falling into silence, it shouldn't be. Why is the draw triggered by the male and female leads useless? Ross couldn't figure it out. Coming out of the bathroom, Sarah had already filled the table with delicious food and everyone sat down one by one. After pushing and changing cups, Sarah kept blinking at Ross. Sarah, what's wrong with you? Blinking all the time, did you get into the sand? Ross spoke with concern and his eyes showed concern. Sarah Omega Winky Face I'm speechless. We've been working together for so long, but you can't see what I mean. Sarah spoke up directly and said, Jones, have you ever heard of Hamnada, the city of the dead? Upon hearing Sarah's words, Ross was taken aback and didn't expect Sarah to remember it. At that time, he just casually asked. Jones lowered his head and pondered for a moment before speaking confidently. I haven't heard of it, what is that? It's like this. Ross was looking for this place before and asked him specifically about the place where the pharaohs of all dynasties slept. As Sarah's words fell, the three of them looked at Ross together. Ross, can I say this is my boasting? Looking at the three pairs of curious eyes, he could only swallow the words that came to his mouth. Mainly because I couldn't bear to tell Sarah the truth, after all, I could keep this matter to myself and still help him consult Jones at this time. How about boasting a little bit yourself? Anyway, they haven't even seen it. Cough. With a light cough, Ross put down the cutlery in his hand. Sarah didn't expect you to remember now. First of all, Thank Sarah for being attentive to her own affairs, and then continued. This starts with the affair between the high priest Imgen and the pharaoh's wife three thousand years ago. Ross vividly recounted the story of Imgen being sealed in Hamnada. As a resting place for pharaohs throughout history, Hamnada not only has countless gold, silver, and jewelry, but more importantly, there are two books that communicate with the gods, the Sun Sutra and the Dark Sutra. Times three is there such a mysterious place in the desert. 
Pop. I saw Sarah clapping her hand on the table and shouting loudly. Ross, don't worry, with our abilities, we will definitely find this place. Ross rolled his eyes and didn't want to talk, you and Stinky are shameless. Ignoring Sarah, he looked at Jones. Jones's arrival signified the unfolding of the plot. Although the mission has not been triggered yet, it doesn't matter. With years of experience reading online articles, just follow the protagonist. Ross was never a tactful person and asked directly. Jones, I wonder what you're doing in Egypt this time. It's not important what's on your face, what's important is that I'm very interested in what you're going to do next. Causing Jones to almost think that his task was exposed. As Ross finished speaking, the previous cup pushing and cup changing suddenly stopped. Jones looked at Sarah and saw that she had a serious face and nodded slightly. It is estimated that during a deep eye contact between the two, Jones had an expressionless expression and a deep gaze. At first glance, he was the mature and steady protagonist, making it difficult for anyone to guess his thoughts. However, Sarah's gaze became clear, and through her analysis, Ross reconstructed the content of their communication. Jones. Is Ross trustworthy? Sarah. Don't worry, Brother Ross is a very reliable person, and it's definitely not a problem for him to participate. Well, that's roughly it. Ross, I'm not sure if you're interested in current archaeology. Jones suddenly spoke up and asked some archaeological questions, which contained some professional words. Ross thought to himself, if he guessed correctly, this should be a test for Jones. If you don't speak so professionally, I can brag for a day, it's all easy. I'm asking so professionally, it seems like there's something I can do. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10. You really look up to me. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The system equipment character, Indiana Jones, does not cover the skin. Ding, the host equipment character card Indiana Jones has a time limit of 600 seconds, and the timer is now starting. Ross's lips curved upwards, revealing a confident smile. Regarding this issue, it's like this. Well, that's probably it. Jones's face was slightly stunned, completely unaware that Ross could answer. He had originally hoped that Ross could get involved, but he didn't expect that Ross could answer so professionally. More importantly, some of Ross's viewpoints coincided with his own, which made him feel like he had found a confidant and couldn't help but ask. Ross, about the Siberians. Well, it. The more they chatted, the more they got along. Sarah looked dumbfounded. Is this still Ross he knows? Stop. If you keep talking, this table of delicious food will be wasted. Sarah interrupted the two flying people who were chatting. Right, right, Jones, let's have dinner first. Ross secretly wiped some sweat off his forehead. Fortunately, Sarah interrupted, otherwise the character's card time would have expired and he wouldn't be able to keep up with Jones's pace. Jones looked still unsatisfied, but knew that this was not the time to continue, so he could only helplessly say. Okay, Ross, when we have time later, let's have a good conversation together. Definitely next time. The dining table became lively again, and Ross asked Jones again about his purpose in coming here. It's like this, Ross. Do you know the Testament of Christianity? I've heard of it a bit. The Ark of the Dharma contains the covenant signed between God and humanity, the Ten Commandments, which are said to have supreme power. The Germans want to use it to start a war, and I must find it before they can find it. The first part, due to its long history, after Jones's words, Ross also recalled the plot of this part and nodded thoughtfully. Ross, I hope you can help me find it. Jones looked serious with deep eyes at Ross. No problem. Ross didn't even think about it and agreed directly, after all, he was also considered part of the protagonist's team. The atmosphere at the dining table today was very good. 
Sarah asked a question he had been wanting to ask but never asked. By the way, Ross has known each other for so long, and I don't know what experiences you have had before. I believe you have had many adventurous experiences, too. It must be exciting. Let's talk about it. Rosie, I have an experience of how to fish in the office, which is quite similar. After this question was asked, Jones and Marianne were also very curious and looked at Ross with curious eyes. Looking at three pairs of curious eyes, Ross didn't know how to answer the conversation. How about fooling around? So he said solemnly in nonsense, thief. Cough, archaeology is a technique. After modifying the story of the ghost blowing the lamp, Ross slowly spoke to the three of them, not telling much but only the exquisite ancient city part. The three of them were mesmerized by the story, and it wasn't until Ross finished speaking for a while that they finally regained consciousness. Sarah stood up and loudly said, Ross, how about you, me, and Jones forming a new iron triangle together? Jones, who regarded Ross as his confidant in his heart, did not refuse to speak up and said, I have no problem. Ross. Marion. And me. The next morning, Jones woke up from bed, recalling yesterday's events and wishing to slap himself. Have you been blinded by lard? Just form an iron triangle. Why listen to Sarah's advice about forming sworn brothers with different surnames? If you want to form sworn brothers, then you need to form them. Why do you need to use alcohol tolerance to determine the order? The only thing that went against it was not allowing Marianne to join, otherwise there would be two more brothers and one more sister. Ross is in a good mood today. Yesterday, he took in two younger brothers. Of course, this is not the most important thing, but one of them is the protagonist. Just thinking about it makes me feel happy. Yesterday, when the two of them suggested using alcohol tolerance to size their drinks, they didn't laugh themselves to death. Skill card equipment, two scumbags, only suitable for calling me big brother. Yesterday, with Jones's reminder, he vaguely remembered that there seemed to be many venomous snakes buried in the ark. The desert outside Cairo is filled with venomous insects, snakes, and ants. These terrifying venomous insects, snakes, and ants are now a major source of income for the locals. So here are not only detoxifying substances, but also medicinal powders to expel these poisonous insects, snakes, and ants. Before teaming up with Jones and the others, go to the market to buy some antidote in expelling powder. If we remove the Arabic style, there is no difference between this place and the domestic market. After buying what he wanted, Ross decided to go back and continue drinking the delicious wine of Hoho Sarah, after all, equipped with skills cannot be wasted. After walking out of a small alley, I saw Jones and Marianne picking out something at a booth. Ross didn't want to be a light bulb and didn't plan to go up and say hello, just as he was about to leave. I saw an Alabama man pulling out a sharp knife from behind Jones and charging towards him. Little. The protagonist is the protagonist, and before Ross could shout out, Jones had already noticed the sharp knife charging towards him. He reacted quickly and collided with Marianne beside him, using the reaction force of the collision to propel Jones towards the other side. The Arab man pounced and a group of Arab men rushed out of the alley next to him. Jones who the hell is that? It's so cruel to let so many people chop me. I really look up to me. Ching Ming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th.